Hi guys, this is Dawn with Fantastic Friends, and today we are making a pineapple upside down bunt cake. Oh yeah, very yummy. And this is what you need. You need one boxed yellow cake mix. You need half a cup of brown sugar. You need a quarter cup of melted butter. You need a third of a cup of oil, a half a cup of pineapple juice, a half a cup of water, three eggs, pineapple slices, and some maraschino cherries. And then of course your bunt pan that has been either buttered and floured or you can use the uh, Baker's Joy spray to make your pan non-stick. And go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees so that it's already preheating. So, let's get started. Okay guys, now the first thing you're going to want to do is take your melted butter and pour your brown sugar into that and give it a good mix because we're going to pour this into the bottom of our bunt pan and then we're going to place I've already taken the pineapple slices out of the can oh and um, if I didn't mention it before you need to get pineapple in its natural juice. Don't get the kind in the syrup. And I've gone ahead and taken them out because we need to use the pineapple juice in the cake mix. And then I've sliced the uh, pineapple slices in half so that we can use them for the top of the cake because they're going to go in the bottom of the pan. Now I've already gone and buttered and floured my pan and so now I'm going to put this in the bottom of the bunt pan. Because this essentially will be the top of the cake. And the recipe calls for only eight slices of pineapple, but I'm going to use all the pineapple that came in the can so that I don't waste it. Okay, and here's my sliced pineapple. Now the recipe called for a half a cup of pineapple juice and a half a cup of water. But I was able to get an entire cup of pineapple juice out of that can. So I don't see any reason why I need to use water. Now you're going to turn your pineapple slices upside down and place them in your bunt pan just like this. Now since I'm using more than the eight, I'm just going to try and place these evenly. Because 
because like I said I didn't want to waste the pineapple slices that would be left over Then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator to let it firm up so that hopefully when I go to pour my batter, the pineapple slices won't fall over. Okay, well actually I have even more pineapple slices so I'll be putting even more pineapple on top of my cake so move over guys You move over just a little bit right there. You move over just a little bit. And one more right there. Now, if you want to stick with just the eight slices, that's up to you. I just didn't want to waste the pineapple. Okay, and then now the cherries go in between each of the pineapples. This will kind of also help them stay standing up. So if you have a few that are stubborn, just wait till you get to the cherries and hopefully that will help them stand up. And see, there you go. Actually, I might have room for another cherry right in between each of these. So I might do that. Okay, guys, let me go ahead and stick this in the fridge. And let's get to mixing our batter. Okay, guys, now this part is pretty much um, easy. All we're going to do is just add all the remaining ingredients to the cake box mix and that is our eggs and I've cracked them into a separate bowl because I want to make sure I don't get any um, shells in there the pineapple juice and I am substituting the half a cup of water with the juice the oil and because this is a butter cake mix instead of a vanilla cake mix I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla
and just mix this up. Already got my oven preheated at 350 degrees and this cake should bake for approximately 35 minutes. But make sure that you check your oven because every oven is different. Okay, let me go grab the pan out of the refrigerator. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and slowly pour this over the pineapple. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Because I'm trying not to disturb the pineapple too much because I don't want them to fall over. Okay, I think we're good. And just in case you're wondering, no, I didn't go to the store. I just happen to already have all of this in the pantry. That's why I'm using a butter cake instead of a yellow cake. Because that's all I had. If I had a yellow cake, I would have definitely used a yellow cake instead of a butter cake. But that's what you do when you're cooking. You just sometimes have to use what you have. Okay, guys. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven. And when it's done, we'll be back. Okay, guys. Just took it out of the oven. So we're going to need to let it cool off for about 10 to 15 minutes in the pan. Then we'll flip it over onto a cooling rack and let it continue to cool. So, when that happens, we'll be back. And of course, we're going to go in for a taste. So, when that happens, we'll be back. See you in a few, guys. Oh, and just to let you know, I had to let this go for about... 38 to 39 minutes so mine went several minutes longer than the 35 and of course that was my oven um because i stuck a toothpick in at 35 minutes and it was still gooey in the middle so i had to let it go about another three or four minutes and then i stuck the toothpick in and it came out clean so that's why i say make sure you check it with your own oven okay so I'll be back. 
Okay, guys. I just took it out of the pan. Look at that. Yummy, 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 yummy. But it now needs to cool the rest of the way. So we'll be cutting into this and having a taste just a little bit later. I'm about to have some dinner because just a little bit over to the right here, I have got some chicken and dumplings cooking in the crock pot. So this will be dessert for a little bit later. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, the cake has cooled and I've gone ahead and cut me a beautiful slice. So it's time to go in for a taste. And I want me some of this pineapple. Oh, that is definitely tasty. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. I love pineapple. And cherries. Oh, that's good. Oh. Oh, and the cake is so moist. Oh my goodness, cooked to perfection. Okay, oh, I'm picking out. Woo, I got carried away. Goodness, guys, that is delicious. If you are new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, love, hugs, and kitty kisses. Bye, guys.